Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Step the Guy and welcome finally to Detroit welcome. Become Woo. Human. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time. I didn't know Scarlett Johansson was in it. Hey. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. Oh, that freaky. How'd you know it's in my house? Okay, get out of my head, witch demon! <laughs> um, but I've been very excited about this game for a very long time because it looks cool. The topics that it's kind of tackling looks really interesting. Um, ever since I played the demo of it when it came out, and I really, really liked that. So I thought, I, I, I want to play the full game. I want to see what the entire story is. So I'm guessing we're going to start a new story. Um, it did ask me to pick stuff at the start. It asked me to pick casual or experienced. I picked experienced because it said that that was the case of being able to lose more characters or the story was going to be a bit stricter, things like that. I think that that's going to be a lot more interesting. If I pick casual, I think I get a lot more do-overs and I don't really want that. I want my decisions to be my decisions. So let's kick it off and start a new story. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's all go. Um, but this is, this is made by the same people who made Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. And they're very story-driven games, very character-driven games, very dialogue-driven games, and you make all these choices and everything. So I, you know I'm a sucker for these types of games anyway, especially for YouTube. So I'm wondering how... Oh. Hey, it's my buddy Connor. This is the demo section. I didn't know it started off the game like this. Okay, we kind of know what we're doing here. He's so cool. I like Connor a lot. Negotiator on site. Oh, that's me. Negotiator. Hello, I am the negotiator, but you can call me Connor. Oh, happy family. Caroline, John, and Emma. Um. Don't worry, ma'am. I am here to save the day. Oh, there's a thing back here. Oh, little fish. Please, you got to save my little girl. Wait. You said an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Ow. I'm a real person. But that's the kind of conversation that I, I'm saying. This stuff is going to be really fun because it's almost like a... It's almost... Uh, I don't know. I'll get into it in a bit. We, we just played the game to begin with anyway. Aw. Oh, a dwarf Garami. Leave or save. I'm going to save the little, little pooker. You and me, we're the same fish. We can't feel emotions. And the humans don't like us. Okay, find Captain Allen. Ooh, well, I want to look at the fish more. I know I can't have to save the little girl and everything, but look how cute these guys are. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Okay, from what I remember, I have to go talk to Alan anyway before I can... Alan, before I can do anything else. What's the sitch, Kim Possible? Captain Alan? Captain Alan, my name is Khan. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Hmm. Even same deviant behavior, emotional shock deactivation code. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Uh. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Yeah, you've been doing a great job so far. <laughs> but this is this is what I'm talking about. They they call the android an it because 
it technically has like no gender, no personality. It's just a robot, um, and they treat it, treat them as lesser citizens. So it almost has like a like a, a racial feel to it as well. And I think that that's going to open up a lot of interesting story arcs and story choices and everything. And I'm always curious to see how far games go with that and how seriously they take it and how they implement it. And video games are a good medium for this type of stuff. Mm. Also, I've been in Detroit now. Now I know what Detroit looks like. I know what the people are like. I know what the place looks like. I know everything about it. Well, the street that I was on. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> okay. He stole the gun! He's a bad, he's a bad guy! He even took the father's gun. Sure did. That's a bad android. What was his name? Daniel? Okay, I'm at a 50% success rate. And I'm going for the hundo. Okay, I want to go into the girls' room. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm just going to visit the little girls' room. Oh, that's a freaky teddy bear. <laughs> All right, play this sucker. Hi, Daniel! This is a joke. My humor setting is at 65%. Alright, I want to do this properly. When I was doing the demo of it, I was kind of dicking around. But I want to make sure that I do this right. I want to make sure... But can I save Daniel? Ah, I'm walking on sunshine! Cool. I mean, not only does the game look amazing, but it sounds great, too. Like, there's a lot of time and effort gone into the craft of this game. Also, Connor is my dude. Connor's the man. Robot man, but the man nonetheless. <laughs> Call me the negotiator from now on. That's what I want to be known as. Check these holes in you. I mean, you might be dead, but at least you're aerodynamic. Reconstruct this bad boy. Cause you dropped a iPad, right? There it is. Guardium Leviosa. Oh, it's so atmospheric and vibey. Your order for an AP-700 Android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. It's nine grand for a robot? That's so cheap. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jesus! Money, but for a full robot? Do you realize how much it is just to get those Boston Dynamic dog things to work? Uh, uh. <coughs> Save me, Buddha. Okay, I gotta check the dead man's. Don't assault. Calm down. I hope if you're gonna assault, you're gonna a pepper too. Show me where the gun is, sir. As I said, this is all stuff that we've done already. So that's why I'm able to, like, blast through it. So I kind of know what's happening. So he got Emma. And then the first responder got in, shot him, hurt him, damaged him. So that he himself got shot and his gun went over there. Okay. Nine percent. You know what that means? <laughs> Not enough yet. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna take 
the gun. Not because I want to use it, but because I want to use it as a bargaining chip. If I take the gun, show that I have it, tell him the truth that I have it, and then toss it away, then he might be more inclined to listen to me, to believe me. And trust me. Okay, your casserole is burned, that's fine. Family's about to have dinner. And they did have dinner, but they ate a dinner of lead. What the perp didn't know is that the negotiator was on site. This is America's Craziest Car Chases. I don't know. Oh, she got blood in her Yeezys. This music is awesome. Where are you going? Look! Okay. These controls are ass. Oh, Emma P, no. Okay, hostage located. <sighs> Lads, I'm going out. Shit. Stay back. Don't come any closer or I'll jump.
man. Oh, man. All the androids are out doing all the Go cars out, and everything. Oh, and they're helping the man. Oh, this is weird. Future. <laughs> I have a secret, but I'll never tell. is changing America's society. Miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters. So in this world, climate change is like destroying society. I mean, it's happening in society now, but like they're actually taking measures here. A recent U.S. census has found that at sea levels, as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more Extreme weather. America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight, with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. Huh. Interesting, man. Look how pretty this is. Can I do the thing as you? Oh, I can. Interesting. Hello, sir. Oh. Oh, hi. Are you jogging with your android? <laughs> hey, water. You have run 12 miles. Now, 5 miles away from your goal. Oh, that's weird. So his a, his AI his Android was like his personal assistant. It's so bizarre because now we already have stuff that like like the Nike running app or the just like a pair of headphones that you can put on that has like a, an AI in it that helps you with your tracking and everything. But I never thought about having an actual personified AI follow you around that never gets tired or anything to have like your water for you. Kind of creepy in a way. Oh, look at this all lit up. Wow. I didn't get to. No, that game's freezing up. I didn't get to see much of Detroit when I was there, so I don't know if everything is completely accurate, but I assume it's fairly accurate. Whoa. The Lini Paints is not this way. Oh, that's kind of cool. Because a lot of games struggle with their UI to try and figure out a way of keeping the player where they want them. And this actually makes sense because, of course, the AI software in the Android would see stuff like this. And see, like, objective markers or anything. That's neat. Okay. I want to search around. I want to see everything there is to see. This is very pretty. Officer. Ooh, we have an android police officer. Oh, that's interesting. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Somebody else said hi as I said hello. Be in base seven. Okay. I have to go get paint. Apparently. Oh, yeah. Sing it, dude. Ooh. Human music. One dollar to hear music with soul. <laughs> Human music. I like it. I would kill for a hot dog! Oh, protest. Bellini paints is not the same. Okay. I'm guessing I have to move forward. Neat. Oh, they have little old drones carrying around packages. 
Come on here. The innocent without cause. God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow his creation to be led astray by these, these artificial demons. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Damn. My brethren. I didn't even do anything. We have to turn our backs on I never even thought about the religious aspects that would be dragged into this kind of story. Because it's also... I know. I, I, I want to, like, actually play the game instead of getting bogged down in all my chatter. What movies are playing? Anna Maverick. After Mankind 3021. Invasion. Raken, the target. <laughs> These could all be actual movies. Wait, what? Hi, sir. Wait, where's Bellini paint? Oh, it's right here. Oh, my bad. <sighs> Ollivanders! Can I pick out my wand? Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Weird! Oh, that's so bizarre! I'm like a Postmates delivery boy. Except everything is automated. It's like... Because this is what's interesting. Because right now we have stuff like the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa and everything. And you can order stuff through them and just get your Alexa to order you stuff and get it sent to your house without ever having to, like, click on stuff yourself. And that's basically what this is, but in a personified, like, human body form. And I never thought to think of it like that, because it's even a case that when I tell Alexa to, like, turn off the lights, or Alexa to play music or something, I feel bad not saying please or thank you sometimes. Even though it's just a piece of software and it doesn't have feelings or anything, but that's the thing. Would you actually be like that if you met robots or androids like that that had faces? And the more, you see, the more used to the androids you get, and seeing their faces around, and knowing that they don't have emotions, that starts to suck the actual humanity out of people. And I think that that's going to be a really interesting thing in the game, to see how people react, because... The more androids you see around the place that you don't have to be courteous to, because they don't have feelings to get upset, the more you'll start treating other actual humans like that. Oh, I can switch camera angles, that's cool. Nice. And it was the same, like, as the dude was running after the guy jogging, and he gave him his water. Um, I'll see you next time. Until next time!